the project itself is running since 2012. So it, the project itself has a long history. Uh, because I think it is now nearly 10 years ago that we met at uh, ECDC in, in, in Stockholm and said, okay, Europe does not have the capacity to respond to these type of outbreaks. There is no mobile capacity, at least not at the European level, to properly uh, respond and go to the field. And uh, then we had a, um, a Sanko-funded preparatory mission, um, a, a design study, so how a, a laboratory in Europe should look like, how it shall operate it, and uh, actually this design study was picked up by DEFCO and uh, they worked on uh, providing a slot of a 3.5 million euro grant to implement this, uh, to implement this project. This worked, was uh, worked out in, the, in, the, in, the, in, in 2011 mainly and in 2012 the project actually uh, started with the purchase of the units. So I said we have three units, one intended for Europe and two intended for Africa. Essentially, we had luck because the because the project was in a, in a state uh, of operational readiness. So we had trained the European staff, the units had been purchased, so everything was ready when we were called to go when we were called to the, go to the field. Initially, the project was confined to uh, stuff from so-called BSF4 laboratory, biosafety level 4 laboratories, means laboratories in Europe who deal with Ebola, Lassa, Cream in Congo, so with all these high-risk uh, pathogens. And uh, they were initially trained already in 2013. We had trained the first batch of European scientists, about 20, 25 scientists, so that, therefore we could start the operation in the field immediately because we had trained staff. But now we have, have broadened, of course, the, the base of the staff also to, um, um, uh, to lab experts coming from uh, uh, BSS3 laboratories. So, but, but of course, they must be uh, able to handle pathogens and they must be able, in particular, to reliably uh, perform uh, these uh, PCR testing. So, but, but now, as I said, we, we have uh, staff from Hungary, from Slovenia, from University of Antwerp, and, and so on. So we recruit now and it works really uh, very nice and, and there is a great commitment of all the institutions and partners to the project. Okay. In February we had a large workshop in Nigeria, in Benin City, and deployed the Nigerian unit or handed over the Nigerian unit to the uh, Nigerian authorities together with the uh, Nigerian Minister of Health and we invited uh, scientists and uh, lab experts from all over West, West Africa. This unit was instrumental to contain the outbreak in Nigeria. So uh, when the uh, cases were imported to Nigeria, uh, we deployed this lab to two sites in Nigeria, both uh, to uh, Inugu state and to port and did the diagnostic at these two sites. And uh, uh, essentially this was the, the only op uh, operational uh, mobile labo laboratory in Nigeria during the outbreak in Nigeria. And uh, the second one was a laboratory in Lagos, but also this laboratory was supported by uh, Europe since a long time and the initial diagnosis in this laboratory was also based on reagents which were sent some years ago. Uh, to the lab and then uh, while we went to Nigeria to oversee uh, the operation of the mobile lab, we also upgraded then, um, upgraded the laboratory in Lagos and additionally trained staff in the laboratory in, in Lagos. So we can really say that the lab response in Nigeria was really uh, uh, based, fully based on European support. Okay, this, this, can, this can be discussed. Initially, actually, it was, uh, we were already had, had already planned to deploy the Nigerian unit to Sierra Leone or Liberia, but then we had the cases in Nigeria. And then, of course, WHO said, now it doesn't make sense, now as we have cases in Nigeria, to bring the, the more or less only laboratory which can do the diagnostics in, uh, in Nigeria to move it out of the country. Yeah, so we left it there and it was really, as I said, essential yeah, to do uh, the laboratory diagnostics in the country. And what is so nice is that this was really run 
by our colleagues from Nigeria. So it was not European staff. We, we were there, uh, actually I am personally and a, a colleague of mine, to supervise, but we haven't done it. So it, everything in Nigeria was done by our Nigerian uh, colleagues. So the training and the preparation uh, was really uh, uh, effective and uh, essential.